Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make an end screen for YouTube on Placeit. Placeit has plenty of different templates, so you can make other things other than end screens. And I'll be showing off those things in separate videos later. So for right now, let me go ahead and focus on the end screens. Now, the way to get to end screens pretty simple you can go to designs and then you can go to YouTube templates you can see I'm already up here so what I want to do is go over to the left and I can see in <clears throat> and I can see YouTube in cars right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that so I can filter out everything and now you can see that I have a few templates up here of just in screens and you can also see that a lot of these look really good. So what I'm going to do is I already know which one I want to go to, but you can just see how these look like. That's a nice one. It's got a nice one here. Like pretty much all these I, I just find to be really nice, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is go back to the first page and I'm going to find the one I want. So here it is. I want to use this one. I don't know. For some reason, it just just calls out to me like "use me." So go ahead, and use it. And now you can see I'm at the part where I can go ahead and start designing. So it's fairly simple. You just saw a preview of it go past. Over here to the left, you got your text. So I can go ahead and change the channel name to something else. So if I wanted to change it to uh, let's just say Avery. Harris only had 15 characters, so anybody that has more than that, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's just kind of how they got it. That is one thing that I wish they would have. A little more characters, you know, maybe like 25 instead of 15. So I got my name up here, Avery Harris. You got subscribe. I can go ahead and switch the coloring of the text right here. But for this one, I'm going to keep it as such over here, right below text, you have the play speed. So it moves basically at 10 seconds per slide. And if you go to, you know, 0.5, that's 20 seconds. If you go to 1.5, that'll take you up to about seven seconds. Um, but I think they do six here. So then you got the white boxes, which will get rid of all these. That includes the white circles as well. Um, and then over to the right, you have audio track, which doesn't play. You don't hear it play, but you can go ahead and press play to hear it. But if I want to edit it, I'll go to the little pencil up here and then I can go ahead and pick out a genre. You know, I don't know any name, actual names they got for this up here. So I can't really use a search. So let's just check this one out. I mean, it's all right. So let's go ahead and just use it, I guess. Uh, you got your text holder, which is this little blue box right here. The background, which you can't see the background because I got an image. So if I wanted to get rid of the image, it would just be white. So let me go ahead and show that off real quick. Every time you make any changes, you'll see that it says previewing your last changes right here. And then you'll see this box pop up, but you still have to update the changes to it. So I can go ahead and press X. You see that it says update slide right here. So I'll have to update the slide in order to actually see the changes go. Otherwise, if I press, you know, restart it, then it'll be the same one that was done before. I can go down into these images because I don't want it to be a white screen, but I don't want to use that screen as well. So I'm going to use, you know, you got all these different images that you can use, but let's say I want to just use some graffiti instead of actually using a person's face. And what I'm going to do is instead of using a blue placeholder, I'm going to go with a yellowish placeholder instead. that preview and then 
you know, I actually went a little darker than that. And then over here, instead of having a white subscribe, I'm gonna have a black subscribe instead. And I wanna see how that looks. And I think that looks pretty good, but I'm gonna actually take out these white boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's on, on. I'm gonna take it off, turn it off, excuse me. And now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and press X and then I'm gonna go ahead and update the slide. Always takes a while for it to update the slides, which uh, honestly is a little time consuming depending on how slow it's going. But it just, I mean, just one of those things where it kinda is what it is. I'll have a link to place it that you can use in the comment section. All right, so it's finally done. We can go ahead and see the preview right here. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I wish I could use my full name, you know, instead of Avery Harris, which I use online income network. But uh, let's just say I want it. I know I can't use online income network. So if I just want to do online income instead. So after looking at that, I can tell that this is coming out the way I wanted it to come out. Uh, if I wanted to, I could add my own image, though. And let's say I wanted to just use, uh, it doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna keep it. So let's just use something random, Super Street Fighter Turbo. Some of y'all might be too young to know what that is. Okay, so this is how it looks when you upload your own image. So it's, as you can see, it still keeps the same effect for the end screen, which is you know the main thing for the template. Um, you cannot change up where the text appears. You can't change up this effect at all. So that's what this template is. So if you don't like it, then you'll just have to end up using a different template. So what I'm gonna do is end up going back to this one and loading this preview back up because I like this one better than the other one. And I'm gonna save this one for myself. So when I'm ready to go ahead and download it, you can see that it's uh, grayed out. It says you need to play all slides before you can, uh, <clears throat> it says you need to play all slides before you can download. So what I wanna do is go down here to play all, and then I can go ahead, press play all, it'll process all the slides. As you can see, it says it'll take equipment to do so. So, just gotta wait. Just wait it out. It didn't take that long, thankfully. And you can hear the music right now. So I can go ahead and download it. Once you download it, you'll see that it says, this little pop-up comes up, it says, Please wait on pending video processing and then it'll let it'll be emailed when it's ready but if i end up staying up here then i'll be able to see it anyway so it doesn't matter if you just want to save your progress for right now instead of download it you can go straight to save draft when you save it it'll show right down here so you can see it says processing preview i got two save drafts up here Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show off for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. There's not really a lot you can do as far as customizing each template. I mean, some templates you can do a little more than others because that's just how the templates are. But at the end of the day, if you don't like one template, they got plenty of different other ones that you can use to build from. So that's a plus. So you got a negative where you can't really customize it too much, but there's a lot of different templates you got, so keep looking until you find something you like. So, yeah, with it, all that being said, hopefully you found information useful. If you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend. Click the bell notification so you get notified when the videos come out for me. I make new videos every week. Um, thanks for watching, and also stay tuned because I'll be making another tutorial on Place It about how you can do thumbnails and other things like that. So stay tuned.
Thanks for watching.